that is about like the stretched length of my hair at the moment definitely not as long as I feel like I could be but you know what we're gonna get there hi it's Gull and welcome back to my channel so today I am gonna be showing you guys my wash day routine with my natural hair obviously this isn't my natural hair now you're looking at the after so you're about to see the before the hair that i'm wearing is actually from reshine hair i'll leave a link to it down below this is a wig a unit she is cute she is put together i love it i feel so cute in this wig so excited so if you want to know more about the wig how i've put it on how i have my natural hair underneath then just keep watching Okay, so I look like an absolute mess. Please excuse that. It's early morning. I am ashy. I still have sleep in my eyes and I'm about to do my wash day routine. So I want to show you everything from like beginning to end. So I've really been spending some time at home looking after my natural hair. I absolutely love my natural hair and I love how good I feel within myself when I have my natural hair out. Like even right now, it lo looks crazy. Like it's not styled. I just feel so cute and I feel so good about myself because it's just my hair on my head. And I love that. That being said, I do also love protective styles like wigs and braids and stuff like that, but nothing will ever beat having my natural hair breathing for me personally. So I thought I'd show you what I've been doing in hopes of just getting it healthier and stronger so I can wear it out. Just to give you a bit of background when it comes to my hair, I did like a big chop back in 2014. So I cut off all my like relaxed hair and then I was just left with natural. I'll insert a picture if I can find it. And so I've been natural for about like six years now my hair hasn't grown a massive amount because one I am really lazy when it comes to my natural hair I don't look after it I do protective styles that probably do more damage than good and on top of that I have a chronic illness where you get a lot of like hair breakage and stuff like that but I've seen people do amazing even if they have a chronic illness even <laughs> with any other circumstances they've been able to grow a really healthy full head of hair so that is what I am trying to do at the moment and yeah it's been a learning curve but I thought I'd show you guys my little routine that I've got going over the last few weeks. So I will leave links down below to two of my favorite natural hair channels. That includes Mary from The Curly Closet and also Layla from Fusion of Cultures. Most of the stuff that I'm about to show you I've learned from their channels and they're the people that inspire me the most to really just put in the effort when it comes to my natural hair. So let me start off with what I'm going to be doing today. So I have started off by making my own clay wash. So a clay wash is something that I learned from Layla from the Fusion of Cultures. Now typically for a clay wash a lot of people tend to use aloe vera juice to put in their clay washes but I don't have any aloe vera juice and it's taking forever to get anything delivered so I'm just having to sort of improvise with what I've got. So I don't know if this is the right thing to do, putting a like a tea wash with a clay wash together. Uh, but anyway, so I've got hibiscus in there and then I've got the Moroccan Rasul clay, which is really good for your hair as well. And then I put in some essential oils. So today I chose peppermint and tea tree, which are also apparently really good for your hair. So this is all improvised, especially without the aloe vera juice i feel like this is probably not like the best clay wash you can make but it's all i can do right now as i don't have everything to my disposal and it's not easy just to go and grab it or get it online at the moment so i can just show you what my natural hair looks like at the moment it is at like not a fully stretched length at the moment but i did stretch it using um my buns or African threading. Uh, so I'll be showing you that uh, at the end of the routine because that is gonna be my protective style for today. And yeah, but you can see my edges are the fullest at all, but I've never had a full hairline. Like even when you look at baby pictures, my hairline has always gone in like that. Oh, actually I do have a picture right, right here. Um, this is what I look like when I was about, I think this is my fourth birthday party. So I don't know if you can see my hairline, it like, goes in I basically when I was younger I hated having my hair done because it hurt so much so I just asked to have it all cut off but once I had it cut off I was really upset and I was like I want my hair back okay so I'm gonna be heading to the shower to do my clay wash and then I'll be back here to show you the rest of my routine
so I've just got out of the shower. I'm trying to push up my towel so it doesn't look like I'm just naked sitting here. So it's not very long and this is what frustrates me the most because it just shrinks so much. Like I wish I could just like, when my hair was shorter, I would just like moisturize it and just like leave it as it is because it's like a cute little fro. But now it's a lot longer. It's like an awkward length to really do that. So that is about like the stretched length of my hair at the moment. Definitely not as long as I feel like I could be, but you know what, we're gonna get there. So straight out of the shower, I've dried it a little bit, um, but not too much because I find it dries really fast, especially because threading takes so long. I want it to still be a bit damp so that it doesn't shrink, if that makes sense, because once it starts to dry and shrink, it's harder to keep it stretched. So I'm just using this Sheer Miracle Moisture Intense Bouncy Curls Pudding um, to start off with some moisture. So I'm just gonna put that all throughout my head. I also started using rice water. So I tried the whole rice water thing and I thought that was really good for my hair purely just because every day I was spraying my hair with rice water. I'm not sure if that's what you're meant to do, like spray it every day, but it meant that I was constantly moisturizing, moisturizing my hair yeah that's definitely helped but i'm not sure if rice water made a huge difference for me like it seems to be this like a miracle thing for a lot of people uh but i guess i didn't try it long enough so okay so i feel like i'm almost ready to start the threading process which is just a huge workout in itself to be honest with you it takes forever with each piece that i thread i'm going to be using this like oil mix that i made <laughs> in my first week of looking after my natural hair so this is made out of sheer butter olive oil coconut oil essential oils but from what i've heard what you want to do is put in like a water-based moisturizer and then seal it with oil i think that's what a lot of people have been saying is good for your hair so that's what i'm going to be doing now that i've moisturized it i'm going to seal it with an oil obviously watching the queen jackie whilst i do my hair Okay, so I finished doing the threading. So this is the thread that I used. I showed you guys earlier, it's just a black thread you'd use for like knitting or something. I want to still feel cute as I go throughout the day because this isn't the cutest thing. I mean, with my buns, you can do like cute styles, but I am really trying to just do a style and then like protect my hair for the majority of the time. So let's stick on a wig cap. So this is an old wig cap that I have i just really wanted a wig that i can chuck on throughout the day so this wig is either a deep wave or a water wave i can't quite remember but i'll leave all the details down below it's 18 inches long and it is a 360 lace as you can see it's lace at the front i've already cut the lace and i've like put my foundation on the lace to tint it to my color um i probably would need to bleach the knots but honestly i'm not too fussed at the moment simply just because i'm not really going anywhere other than the supermarket so i feel like i can get away with it not being a hundred percent customized and if you guys have been watching my channel for a while you know that i try to go for like low maintenance easy styles to do so i'm just going to show you how i do that like make it passable <laughs> so that i can just wear something so i'm going to be using the got to be glue we all know and love to just lay down the front i don't do this every day because i don't want to be using this on my skin every day because i've noticed sometimes it can make me break out i'm just putting it on my forehead and then i just have this headband <laughs> to just make sure it's in place okay so i have finished my face of makeup just something really natural and simple but i always feel like a wig looks better once i have like a little bit of a face on and i'm a bit done up and so i've done that and i've glued down the front just a touch but i just do you know what i just wanted to show you how like a regular person puts on a wig like someone who's not great at doing wigs because sometimes you see wig reviews from people who are amazing at like laying a wig and it's usually down to their skills that's what i found like sometimes the wig isn't great but the person is great at laying it whereas i'm not great at laying a wig not at all but this wig was good enough as it came that i feel like i can get away with this look i'm not gonna lie i really am not into the whole um baby hair gluing down baby hair and all that kind of stuff i really like this look oh i need a toothbrush where's my toothbrush 
So I've got this um, mousse. So I can show you guys what it looks like when the curls are a little bit tighter. Because I feel like, oh, the wet look just looks so good. Like with the, with the, that's why it's called a water wave. Because it's like a wavy, watery look. Okay, so this is what the hair is looking like. And I just loved this wig because I feel like I just got it out of the box. I washed it and then I let it dry. I cut off the lace and then I stained the lace and it was just really straightforward and easy and I feel like wigs are starting to get more and more complicated and like you have to do so much to get them to lay and look right and this might not look like a hundred percent natural like the way people are doing it at the moment but I still think it looks really cute and simple for like the everyday person that just doesn't have the patience like honestly I love watching these videos where people are melting their lace and laying it down but I just know it'll never be me like I just don't it's not me <laughs> so this is the wig i'll leave all the details to it down below super happy with it i feel so good today i'm sorry i'm just having a moment because when i first put it on the other day i was like oh it's all right whatever but i feel like now that i've got like a face on i've got my earrings on i've done the whole look i feel cute do feel free to share your tips but please be nice i know i'm not like this is not my expertise this is not the thing i'm the best at or have the most patience for but i'm definitely learning so do leave your tips down below like i said i'll leave a link to this hair down below too but anyway guys thank you so much for watching stay healthy stay luscious and i'll talk to you guys later bye